Hello, welcome to Cardboard and Plastic. Today is mail day. I have a Com C package and I also have uh, some cards I've been buying for um, one of my other PCs. Um, I paid $15 for this. I was expecting this to be in the standard, the under $20 eBay shipping. I use that quite a bit where it costs you like 60 cents to send this with tracking. It's not really tracking, but it's it does give the buyer some confidence that it's been shipped out instead of just using a envelope with a postage on it. And they actually sent that in a padded envelope, so they paid $4 for shipping. I paid $15 for the card, free shipping, so I expect just the envelope. The, buy, uh, the seller paid $3 too much to ship it. I really don't need any of these filler cards, but I do collect these and send these to my nephew. So all these are just base. What are these tops? Oh, that's actually neat. So this will be one of my new PCs here. This is really cool for the older collectors getting back. This is the 1985 Topps design. And I really find it cool to have some of the players that I collect in these throwback cards. So I think all these are just going to be just top stuff. I don't collect this stuff here. But this is the card that I got. So on card, autograph is Zach Allen, $15 with free shipping. And this is going to be my first on card auto of Zach Allen. And I got some other colors of this coming. So this is just the base one. I got some other colors coming as well. Bought one of off of Com C. Have another one coming later this week. So here's my Com C order. I took it out of the box. When you buy from Com C, expect two things. Expect a lot of peanuts, and of course, uh, of course there's more peanuts in here. So they shipped in a box full of these. So after a Com C order, I see these around my room for the next two to three weeks. And the other thing is receipts. They put a receipt with every single card and I got a lot of cards here so there'll be a lot of receipts today. So I bought some graded. I bought some raw. Bought some stuff for my PC. Oh, peanuts. And stickers and receipts for every single card. If you're a Com C buyer if you buy a card that's like over ten dollars even if you don't put it for getting a top loader they typically put a top loader on the more expensive cards so i never get top loaders the cards that i buy that are more expensive they put them on there anyway um let's go through the raw stuff first And more packing peanuts. They're going to be everywhere. All right. Got some cleaning up to do today. So in the back, I have one of these cards. Um, all the cards graded very well for my last two CSG orders. Most of them are Com C raw cards. This card I have here because it graded bad and there is a little crease there that's hard to see and I don't know if it came from Com C like that. I always inspect the cards and those things I don't let skip through but I mean I got the cards from Com C and then I inspect them, then I put them back in penny sleeves, back into the card savers, 
And they go and get taken out of card savers and shipped. So the damage could have happened anywhere. Um, and you'll see why I have that card there today. I can't settle for a three. And over here, I have a Jerry Lucas on card signature. Now, the two things I look for is they have to be on an NBA team and it has to be on card auto for my Hall of Famers. Except Jerry Lucas, I associate him with being a Nick. So that card will have to go. So Charles Haley. So this will go my football on card Hall of Fame. Another Sandy rookie. He had a horrible game yesterday. Gave up six runs. And kind of funny, um, he had one horrible outing last year. In 1.1 innings, he gave up eight runs. And he gave them up to the Dodgers. And yesterday, he got shelled by the Dodgers. So he's going up against the Dodgers there. Hopefully, that doesn't hurt his Cy Young Award chance for this year. But, I mean, I got those for like $10, $12. So he's my PC with Zach Allen. And I got one more player that I'm kind of PCing that you'll see today that's modern. Lenny Wilkins, and again, on card, I think that's the same one as the Jerry Lucas, but that one's going away. Not too many Rick Smiths, so you don't have to sit there and look at all my Rick Smiths today. This is the gold medallion, I need this one, I think I saw this for like 75 cents. Uh, this card isn't in perfect shape, but it looks pretty good, I mean some chipping there, but what I look for is centering uh, with these cards. So this will go into my Hall of Fame PC. This card, not in great shape, a little bit off-centered. Some issues there, but I think this was $4. This will look great on the top loader until I can find a Warren Spawn that I want to grade from this year. Now this one, I made a mistake. I traded uh, somebody for another Raleigh Fingers. Um, this one's nicer, so the other one I traded for, I'm gonna have to trade it again. But, I mean, these cards I'm getting for like eight, 10 bucks a piece on Com C. So, great to get a Hall of Famer on Card Auto, and that's a nice thick card stock as well. And I always tell myself, I'm going to get away from the 80s, get into the 70s, sorry, the 60s, the 50s, the older cards. But these things just catch my eye. And whenever I see a nicely centered Cal Ripken rookie, I got to pick it up. So I got a bunch of these that you'll see today. And some of these, if they pass my inspection, I'll send into grading. Once grading gets cheaper... 10 to $12 a piece. That's as high as I go. So I'll wait until next year. And a lot of these I got for like four to $10. And so if they look centered, they look nice. I mean, that's a beautifully centered Ryan Sandberg. So if you collect these years, you know how hard it is to find them centered like this. Bo Jackson rookie. So that's perfectly centered. This is a card that's really hard to find centered. These 1985 Dwight Goodens. But that, it looks beautiful. I saw that for like a buck. Had to get that. And I probably will grade this if grading gets down to $8, 10 a piece. This will be for my Hall of Fame. And again, I'll take a look, see if this is grade worthy. James Lofton, rookie. I keep on buying these. I can't stop. Dennis Rodman, rookie. A little bit off-center left to right, but this looks sharp. The colors look nice. Looks like a beautiful surface on it. Another Sandy rookie. So I love these throwbacks to the earlier years.
This card is really hard to find centered in good shape. This looks absolutely beautiful. This is a 1973 Carlson Fisk. And if you take a look at the back of these cards, if you can't see too much wear in the back of these things, you got yourself a really nice card. So if this passes my inspection, I'm sending that to be graded. I think I like that card better than his 1972. Oh, and sorry, Jerry Lucas. You're getting replaced by the Jerry Lucas on the New York Knicks. I really like these National Treasures with the thick card stock. I don't know why I buy this. I have a PSA 8 of this. It looked pretty well centered, and these things are just hard to find centered, and I think it was like 3 bucks. So This card I paid 11 for. And this card, if you look at the centering, you can't find the cards with this type of centering. Very, very difficult. And they actually get quite expensive when you have cards that's um, from this 19... This is 73? Football, I believe it is. What year is this? Yeah, 1973 tops. And not only is it centered left to right, but top and bottom as well. And if this grade's high, I mean, these cards go for quite a bit of money. Another card for my auto, Gaylord Perry. On card auto. I keep on buying these. I can't stop. Here's a nicely centered Kirby Puckett. As you can see, I spend a lot of time on Com C, and if I see centered cards, I buy them. Hall of Fame, Charlie Joyner. Now, the Barry Bonds in the back. We'll try again. Barry Bonds. 1986 Tops Traded Part 2. So I'll check. I'm going to check that one out very carefully. I think I'm going to crack that one out. Really see the damage there. Um, Dale Murphy. I had another one of these. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Uh, but this is his... Not his rookie one. His rookie one is this. So he actually has two rookie cards from these things back to back, the Dale Murphy. So I just thought it'd be cool to have both of those, put those in top loaders. I might grade the other one. It's a little bit off centered another hall of fame on Cardano. you can get those things for like five six bucks nicely centered i mean look at the centering of that that's beautiful for the weight box this will not be graded but this is just going to go top loader um i think the seller had a couple of these they looked in nice shape Here's the other one. So, Gaylord Perry, for by 11, just put these into top loaders. Nicely centered Tony Gwynn, a little bit top to bottom, not perfect. This is a Perfectly centered Ricky Henderson. I think this one has a little bit of uh, print defects on it, but the centering is what makes it special. Calvin, uh, Calvin Murphy and another Hall of Famer. So we'll get into the bigger cards. So these cards. 
are ones that they put in top loaders. I spent a little bit more on these. So we'll go through these. And I never had this card. This is one of the cards I wanted. This is why I put the uh, Ricky Henderson back there. This was a card that I got an 8 on it. It's beautifully centered. I sent in about 8 of these, 10 of these, into PSA, SGC. I never got above an SGC 7.5 or a PSA 7. I got tons of 7s, like 7 after 7 after 7 with these. Finally got the 8. Traded all the other ones away. And one card I never got was the Joe Montana rookie. So I bought it raw. Now it is off-centered horribly, top to bottom, right? But it is centered pretty well left to right. So for the price I got this, I'm going to get this slabbed. And hopefully, I mean, I'm not expecting much, like a six for this card. But it'll be look real nice in a slab just to have in my PC. A lot cheaper going that route than buying it graded already. I'm not scared to do that. Here's some of the more expensive ones. And these ones, if the card's like over $10, they put them in top loaders typically, I find, for Com C. Hall of Fame rookie there. Or oh, sorry, Hall of Fame uh, on card auto. So... Jeff Bagwell. This card. Didn't know they come in thicker stock there. Um, this is the Jordan Alvarez on card auto with a rookie there. So got this from for like 60 bucks. He's having a pretty good year. So this is one that I have a couple of his rookies that are numbered. So a little PC going with him. And this one I thought was real cool. I got it for 65 bucks. I'm going to send this one to SGC. And I'm sending it with my Joe DiMaggio. But this is a 1933. And Hall of Famer. But I got to go through these cards. But I mean, of course, there's going to be some issues. Did it come with a penny sleeve or I just took it out? So. We'll see how this one grades. If it gets a three, I'll be happy. Seems like it's in pretty good shape, though. And I actually even bought some slabs. Start with what cheaper ones. I bought this card for 18 bucks. And if I wanted to grade one and buy one raw, it would have cost me more than $18. So the tops traded Barry Sanders. I still got to get the score one. But I mean, PSA 9s are great deals. Like the PSA 10 for this is like over $100. And you can buy the PSA 9s for a fraction of the cost and really expand your collection. Let's see which one next. We'll go for this one. I'll take this out. Um, I can just leave it in there. Got a PSA 9, Joe Dumars. The price was right. It was well below comps on ComC, so decided to get the nine. And I'm trying to get all the 1986 ones. Um, if anybody wants to donate a 1986 Jordan to me, you can contact me. Here's the Car Malone. Um, with the Car Malone. What I did with this is I sold a PSA 10 Shaquille O'Neal Tops, 1992 Tops, which is a very common card. And 
I sold that and I put that money towards getting this PSA 8 Carl Malone rookie, which this is his really his only rookie. So the Shaq has like the upper deck, the tops, all Fleer Ultra, all those. So I thought that was basically a good trade for me to go from a top Shaq into a Fleer Malone rookie. Now the two big ones. Now I got this, let me take it out so we can see it a little bit better. Got all pla this is what I call a cardboard and plastic. I just got plastic everywhere. And I got receipts everywhere. It came in two bags. I mean, this is borderline insanity here. So this card has subgrades. Now, what I go for with cards, right? Centering number one. So this card has beautiful centering. Now I gotta go over this card. It looked pretty good. I mean, the corner's got a 5.5. Yes, I gotta take a look at it, but the corners even look good. Now the surface got a 4.5. So I gotta go through this and really see, is there a surface issue? Now, the nice thing about these CSG slabs is they're really easy to see through. So, what do you think? I mean, I might crack this out and send this to SGC. I'll really take a look at it very carefully, see if there's any issues. But, I mean... It looks like a really clean card for five. But again, I mean, the centering of that 1966 tops is great. Oh, I'm sorry, Ricky. I'll put this card in front of the bonds. And one of the big cards growing up the last one I have for today. One of the big football cards I always wanted. The 1976 Walter Payton. Now, the green here goes with the green here, but there's so much white space. I This would drive me crazy. I don't mind the rose as much because it has the subgrades on it. This is going to drive me crazy. So... I mean, the centering of this card looks fabulous. I mean, some corner issues. I mean, that looks pretty clean for 4.5. Down in the comments below. Let me take a look, too. And the CSG slabs, they, they're meant to perfectly fit the card. That's why they, if it's a little bit short, you can really tell. Or if the card's bigger, they actually, it won't fit in here, so they have to use a plastic sleeve. But this card fits perfectly in there. Comments below, do you want me to crack it? Send it to SGC? I'll look forward to your responses for that. So I hoped... That you kind of can see how I collect. I'm continuing to collect. I'm continuing to buy even when the market's dropping. But I'm buying stuff that I want. That I want to collect. And I buy raw. I buy graded. And I really don't care about the grades. I care about the card inside of that slab. And that's a beautiful card. So I hope everybody has a great day. And keep on collecting.